It's being pointed out that Singapore is well positioned to support and grow new trade flows for renewable fuels. Now, this is the global energy transition gathers pace. Minister of State Lo Yenling notes that the city-state is located near regional biofuel feedstock resources, and it's also home to a growing network of companies trading in them. Now, speaking at the Asia-Pacific Petroleum Conference, Ms. Lo also highlighted Singapore's refining and processing capabilities. Singapore's efficient processing and refining capabilities, as well as our robust maritime infrastructure, allows us then to import biofuels for refining and then re-export it. So there's a synergy here. It's, it's not really binary. So this synergy presents an opportunity for Singapore to develop strengths in both biofuel processing and trading, and then solidify our position as an energy hub. Ms. Lowe also notes that Singapore is working on harmonizing standards to reduce barriers to the trade of biofuels. Even as the country commits to working with businesses to navigate the global energy transition, one industry expert says striking a good balance within the energy trilemma of security, affordability and sustainability will be needed. Singapore, like every other country, has got ambitious plans to get to net zero and transition away from uh, emissions-based fuels to cleaner sources of fuels. That's great. But at the same time, like every other country, Singapore will have to balance energy affordability. Much of its economy needs energy to be successful and globally competitive, so we need to find affordable sources of energy. And also security is important.